Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. This video, I want to talk about bone protective therapy for those men that develop metastatic disease. One of the consequences of having cancer spread into the bones is the possibility of developing bone pain, fractures, cord compression, or the requirement to have surgery or radiation. We call those skeletal related events or SREs and obviously they can have a significant toll on patients. We have several therapies that are available. The older therapy is a drug that was called Zometa or Zoledronic Acid. It was administered intravenously during a 15 minute infusion by the, in the doctor's office and it was done about every three or four weeks. Studies show that that drug reduced in a significant way the chance of men developing a skeletal related event. Uh, about uh, one out of every nine men getting the drug was benefiting. Uh, the problem with the drug is that it had to be given through the vein and it had to be uh, monitored for possible problems with calcium and also with kidney function. More recently, in 2011, we have another drug that's become available. It's called Exgeva, or denosumab. Uh, this drug works in the following way. When cancer cells are in the bones, they produce other chemicals that force bone to be resorbed. In other words, they help thin out the bones. And they do so by producing a protein. That protein is called rank ligand. doesn't matter what it's called, but that's the name of it. And this new drug, denosumab, actually is an antibody that binds to this uh, rank ligand and it stops it from absorbing or resorbing bone. So that's how it works in a protective fashion. The randomized studies that have been done on nearly 1900 men show that it was better when compared to the zoledronic acid. It actually had 18% fewer SREs compared to the other drug that's been available. The side effects include a decrease in your phosphate level, decrease in your calcium level, and a possibility of developing osteonecrosis of the jaw, or ONJ. ONJ is something that can happen to people who have a dental surgery or bad gums and it leads to poor healing and inflammation and infection. It happens in less than 2% of the patients taking this drug and it was not significantly different than the men who received the Zometo or the Zoledronic Acid. So the drug does work a little bit better and the main difference is how it's administered because it's administered as a subcutaneous injection once every four weeks compared to the medicine by the zoledronic acid being given through the vein. So it appears to be safer. There are lower chances of developing fever or chills or reaction to the medication when it's administered. And it is less likely to cause problems with your kidney function. So those are the advantages. Now, one of the debates that centers uh, around the cost, because this drug is about twice as costly as the zoledronic acid. So it's 18% more effective, 50% more costly. Is it worth it? Well, that's a decision for each patient to make. Some insurance companies are covering the cost, some are not. Medicare is covering the cost. Uh, but we have this ongoing debate about whether or not expensive drugs are worth it. And if you develop a fracture of the bone, if you need radiation or if you need surgery, that leads to other problems. So avoiding it is worthwhile. And the question is, is this more effective drug worth the added cost? That's something to discuss with your doctor. The main thing here is that all men that have cancer in the bones should be offered this medication or the alternative medication to help protect them. As part of the treatment, men should get calcium, 500 milligrams a day, and vitamin D, 400 international units per day. And they should have their calcium levels monitored periodically, maybe every few months, just to check and make sure that it's not dropping into low levels. Other than that, this is an important advance for men with metastatic disease. And 
you should make sure you're aware of it and have a chance to discuss it with your doctor. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.